Hey everybody, welcome back to Matt's Ice Cream Show. We are back on our quest to try out the ice cream world has to offer. Welcome back fans, welcome new fans, welcome old fans. If you are not already subscribed, please subscribe down below. Thank you so much. I hope everybody is having a great day. Great day. I can't get this open. Okay, today we're going to be doing um, <laughs> Blue Bunny Loaded Sundays. This is the Bunny Tracks. It is vanilla with other natural flavors. Uh, frozen dairy. This is actually a frozen dairy dessert. Interesting. Okay, so it's a frozen dairy dessert. The uh, difference between an American ice cream and a frozen dairy dessert is that frozen dairy dessert typically has uh, over 100% overrun. Uh, instead of f uh, butter or milk fat, it tends to have uh, vegetable oil in it. And there's one or two other things. But we will have a special on those things. Gelato, American custard. Or I'm sorry, frozen custard, American ice cream. Frozen dairy dessert, vegan ice cream, etc., and kind of explain the difference between that in the future with the chill in a chilling chat with Matt. So look forward to that later on this year. Okay, this has the uh, this is caramel and fudge swirls, chocolatey cover peanuts with chocolatey peanut butter bunnies. I'm not good at the the talking, so I hope everybody can see this. The calorie conscious crowd, this is 590 calories, 5904, 8.5 fluid ounces or 251 milliliters. As you can see, it got frozen and refrozen. Unfortunately, that happens sometimes, kind of takes away from the quality, but we will move forward. Hope everybody's doing, whoa. I gotta figure out a way to stop that because that keeps happening more and more. Hmm. Loco, loco. Well, right away, I assume these are bunnies on top and not bunny droppings. <laughs> That's disgusting. Uh, but seriously, <laughs> they are right. They're bunnies. It's very peanut buttery. Like right away. And very peanut butter and caramel forward. Has a nice sweetness to it. I will say that it says chocolate peanut butter bunnies. A little bit of chocolate, but more peanut butter forward. Now, as you get deeper down, it has a good amount. Get to it. It has a good amount of um, really ingredients all the way through it. I've actually never had this brand before that I know of. One of my friends, whoa, getting warm again, everyone. Getting warm again, and I'm still fat, so I'm going to sweat like a hog. One of my friends <laughs> hit me up the other day and told me about it. I had seen it. She highly suggested it, or highly recommended it. So I got it. Shout out to Alicia. Thank you so much. If you guys have any other brands that I haven't done yet, put it in the comments below and let me know. Also, while you're there, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and press the notification button so you can get our stuff as soon as it comes out. It really helps me out. The more you watch, the more you share, the more you, etc. For any of your creative friends, like, talk about it, get it out there, the more it helps them out. It's how the algorithm works. And I can't get this. I think I've what I've realized about this is if it's fattier, it tends to stick better. If it doesn't have like a lot of fat in it, it doesn't stick as well or as much fat. Um, I will say the one thing about this. Definitely has more air whipped into it, and it's not as um, nearly as fatty. Doesn't have that traditional fatty ice cream taste. As you can see, there is a ton of ingredients in there, all the way through. Now this is pretty calorically dense for 8.5 calories, so.
keep that in mind. Definitely a lighter, airier, fluffier feel to the ice cream. Or, oh, cold, frozen dairy dessert. But I don't know what it is about this particular ice cream or frozen dairy dessert. But which one of the coldest ones I've eaten to my teeth? Almost has like chunks of ice as it goes down. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and give this a rating, everyone. So for a frozen dairy dessert, I'm not sure if Blue Bunny has like actual ice cream, but I will look for it. For a frozen dairy dessert, this is pretty good, I'm not going to lie. This is quality. Man, last little bit. You see, got melty at the end. Has a nice hit of chocolate, peanut butter, and caramel. Oh man! Ah, pow, 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 pow. Flavor, pow! You got a shirt that says all that. Um, this guy's got issues. <laughs> it's got a one to 110 point green scale. <laughs> I'm gonna give it like a 95. That was really, really good. I can't give it a, a, a complete 100. I will say the representation of fat in the ice cream is not really there. Um, might look a little bit higher quality ingredients, but it's still really good. As far as sugar, as far as taste, as far as... I do wish it was a little denser, personally. That's just me. I like denser, sweeter, fattier ice cream. More borderline frozen custard, frozen custard area. Uh, as far as density, as far as it's a little airier, it's great taste very very uh fulfilling if you're looking for what it claims to have in it it definitely has a nice mix of chocolate peanut butter caramel i mean there's no question i do wish it was a little bit more chocolatey but i'm not complaining because i like more peanut butter for things and it's actually a pretty good peanut butter taste so because i feel like a lot of times with these um brands at least a lot of even some of the higher quality brands they have more of a generic peanut butter taste so i'm not a big fan of that this however is on point so I'm going to give it a 95. I would definitely eat this again. I would definitely go out of my way to get this. This is really, really good. I do wish it was a bigger container, but I do understand. You guys go check this out. Let me know what you think. Who has had this before? Who likes Blue Bunny? Do they? you know of any other brands or things that they make? Put it down in the comments below. Also, while you're there, well, what did you think about the last ice cream? I thought it was pretty good. Make sure to go check out the last ice cream. Let me know what you thought. Put it in the comments of that video. Um, but yeah, like I said, go try this out. Let me know what you think. I imagine, I'm pretty, I've seen this pretty much all over America, so... But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters, my PayPal supporters, my Cash App supporters, all my supporters. Um, I really cannot thank you enough. Our show is growing. Look for bigger things to happen with the show in March. And as we go, I have put together a schedule. We're going to start putting together better edits on location, collaborations, and a bunch of other Asians uh, <laughs> in the future. So I do appreciate you so much. If you are on YouTube, check us out on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, check us out on YouTube. And for the new fans, we are going to be on Rumble. So check us out on Rumble every uh, week as well. It's basically the same episode, just different platform. We want to expand out. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much, everybody. It means a lot to me. Put your comments below. Let me know what you think. Check the links below. Um, yeah. But anyway, guys. I, <laughs> just rambling at this point. <laughs> All right, guys. No, but seriously. All right, guys. I love you. Thank you so much for showing up, and I will see you next time.